Hello, I'm Nick Kessler from Resdal and here's another balcony video. Now we got a new question about um, range of our 2.4 gigahertz and what's going on there when you repeat passings from a box to a base station. Now I know this is a management box and obviously you would need a black loop box to repeat passings but this is just for reference so that I could show you some stuff. It's all that I have here right now. I don't have a loop box with me at home here right now. So the most critical part if you want to have good range on a antenna is that you put the antenna as far up as possible and that you create a direct line of sight between the two antennas that you want to communicate with each other. 2.4 GHz needs a direct line of sight. If you don't have a direct line of sight, the signal will always be reflected from some other metal parts along the way and that is not a reliable way to get a connection. So please make sure you try to have a direct line of sight between the two antennas you want to have communication between. Now the important thing to get it up is that you reuse one of our range extenders. So the range extender antenna doesn't really have additional gain. The only reason why the range extender is a lot better is because you can mount it far up above people of everyone, uh, heads of people of everyone. So this is very very important. Now the other thing that is important for this antenna, but also for the range extender, is that you make sure that you do not have any metal parts close to the antenna, especially setups like this are worst case. Okay, you don't want to do this, because this heavily detunes the antenna. So what you want to do is you want to set it up like this. Much, much better. Okay, so always make sure that when you mount your box somewhere, don't put the antenna close to something basically not even not metal is worst case but everything else isn't isn't nice too so try to always keep your antenna in free air with nothing around it so pretty important now there's another thing that is important to understand with repeat mode and that is um, I hope that all of you know is that the reason why you should not use a loop box in repeat mode at the start. And the reason for that is that the channel that is used to repeat the data is the same as that is used for communication between the transponder and the box. So the transponder sends its data to your loop box and then the loop box sends its data on the exact same frequency, same channel to the base station. Now there can always only be one communication at any given time. So whenever the box is sending out data to the base station, it can't receive passings from transponders. And when, during receiving passings from transponders, it can't send out data to a base station. And normally this is not critical because we have a 1000 passings buffer inside the box. But it can be critical at the start, where when you have many transponders on the loop, especially people standing on the loop, and all those transponders are firing and creating new passings all the time, the transponder won't be able to send out its data to the base station because it's busy receiving data all the time. And then gradually the buffer fills up and you will have a buffer overflow. This gets even worse if the communication between the loop box and your receiving base station is shaky. Yeah, so if um, the box has a hard time getting this data back to the base station anyway, then um, you can run into serious trouble. So don't use loop boxes at a start. Loop boxes were not designed to be used as a start, especially when people can be standing on the line creating lots of passings in a very short time. Yeah, so that's what's going on. So always make sure to have your antennas as high up as possible. Make sure to have them away from anything, especially metal. Use the range, range extender if you can. And don't use loop boxes at the start. So I hope that helps and um, see you next time.